Hey, what's up guys? It's Brain TCT and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about the Huron of Steel. Huron? I think that's how you say it. But uh, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, if I'm saying it wrong. But I'm pretty sure that's what, um, what it is. So, um, if you guys are new here, then make sure to subscribe because I'm making daily videos on the Lost Kingdom. And because I am in Kingdom 3, one of the first uh, Lost Kingdoms that there is, I'll be getting... The newest information for when all of these passes and all this stuff um, opens because um, all the other YouTubers and content creators, um, other than just a handful, uh, the only ones I know of are Miracle Max and Echo that are in this kingdom and are doing videos for um, the Lost Kingdom. So uh, if you guys um, want the newest, like the quickest information about all these new things, that are opening you guys should subscribe because I'm going to have the information first before anybody else and also you guys can prepare for all the stuff that is going to happen so um, without I uh, keep talking about myself we are going to be talking about the Huron of Steel so the Huron of Steel has 3 million infantry so the so don't the best way to counter this would be using um, archers um, I'm pretty sure wait let me make sure that's I'm correct on that. Um, you know, uh, yes, yes. So it says right here, yeah. So infantry is conquered by archer units. So use archer units when you're attacking these. Don't use um, cavalry because you will be conquered over them. So um, well, let me find the Huron again. Okay, here it is. Yeah. So don't use um, cavalry because. Uh, uh, cavalry is conquered by infantry, so use definitely use archers. And we're going to be getting into its skills. So its first skill does a direct damage factor of three thousand five hundred. So this is a lot less that I mean this is a lot more than the uh, the Crusader Fortress that I did a video on um, just a couple days ago or the day before this video came out. So make sure to check that out if you guys haven't already, because as it shows over here. The Crusader Fortress, it does only has 2,000 and 2,500, but unless you want to count these together, I guess this is about uh, 4,500, so I guess it might be less, but um, this one, uh, it, as an individual commander, it has only 3,500, and something that's significant about this one, it only has one commander instead of the other cru Crusader Fortress that had two commanders. So, unlike the Crusader Fortress as well, this one has been conquered. Um, as you can see, our kingdom has conquered this one, and I'm pretty sure other kingdoms have as well. But, um, the Crusader Fortress hasn't been conquered, as I talked about in my previous Crusader Fortress video. So, um, this one has been conquered, but it is still very hard to defeat. And then the next one it will be, um... After using the skill reduces rage required um, to, for the next one for the next I mean um, for to the next skill by 100 so um, this means that uh, uh, just after you use a skill you get an extra boost so like you have to wait about half as long so wait to get your next skill now multiple commanders have this this isn't as significant because a lot of people have this um, and then this next one which is uh, heals 3% unit of units by a commander after skills used. This is um, a skill that is 1% more than this one because it's the exact same um, except just 1% more. So it, I, I talked about in my Crusader Fortress video that this one uh, isn't as important and not as worrisome because it's only 3%, but it can still be annoying because 3%, that's about 300,000 compared to... Um, in this, so uh, we know 300,000, um, more of about 900,000 are healed if you have a, wait, that's not right, 90,000 actually, 90,000 units, that's not that much. If I have my math wrong, then please correct me in the comments, because I'm probably sounding stupid right now, but then the last one, which is after a, during the battle, the he it heals 100% of the units of this commander by every 300 seconds. So this means that you have 300 seconds to kill this thing. And it's a little bit less than this one because it's 360 seconds to kill the Crusader Fortress. But obviously the Crusader Fortress is a lot more powerful. So it's more of a threat. But um, 
it's uh so this one isn't as strong but it's still pretty difficult to defeat because there is still some people that um, haven't defeated it and it definitely takes lots of organization to be able to do it um I'm sure it was it took multiple T5 rallies to be able to take this thing out um, and uh, I'm sorry about the notifications at the top um, I can't control them but I'm probably just gonna be blanking them out because it's discord notifications so um, I'm sorry about that but if you guys did enjoy this video then make sure to subscribe because I'm going to be making more videos uh, about the new stuff that is going to be opening in Rise of Kingdoms so thank you for so much for everyone who stayed to end to watch this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.